Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen or welcome if you're new. My name is Bethany or Budget Bethany and welcome to this week's What's For Dinner video. So in this week's video, I'm gonna be sharing four super easy crock pot dinners with y'all because I feel like it's getting warm and it's getting summertime and everybody wants to spend as much time with their family as they can and not be in the kitchen cooking and cleaning all day. So the crock pot is the idea for that. So if you're in search of some new easy crock pot dinner ideas, I hope that you'll just keep on watching. So the first crock pot dinner idea that I'm going to be sharing with y'all is going to be some Hawaiian meatballs served over rice. So this is basically a dump and go crock pot meal. So all you have to do is dump in your meatballs and it says to use one 28 ounce bag. I had a huge old bag, so I just only used about half of it. I dumped in a can of pineapples and y'all, I may not be going by the exact recipe, but you know, it's the gist of the recipe. And then you'll need one cup of brown sugar and you'll also need two third cups of vinegar. I just kind of splashed some in there and then I cut up a jalapeno the original recipe calls for bell pepper but i didn't have any so i opted to use in jalapenos and it turned out just as good also added in about a third cup of water just to add some liquid in the bottom of my um, crock pot because my pineapples did not have a whole lot of juice in them surprisingly and then i'm going to add in about three tablespoons of cornstarch and kind of mix that up in there really well and then i'm going to add in about um, two tablespoons of soy sauce this recipe is pretty versatile you can add however much or however little you like it just depends on your taste and what you like i do like mine to be a little bit more on the salty side and not so much on the sweet side so i was fine with adding more soy sauce if i added more than what the recipe called for i also wanted a whole lot of peppers in mine just because i want a pepper in every bite but that's just my liking then i just cooked up about a cup of white rice and i just served that on my plate and then i topped with some of the meatballs and the pineapple brown sugar pepper mixture on top Also for me and my liking, I like to have a lot of juice because I want to make sure that I have some juice to add over on top of my rice because I don't want my rice to be dry with just meatballs. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty of juice left for mine as well. And then here it was, I'll plate it up y'all. This is really good, it's really delicious. You can also serve those meatballs as appetizers, but we had them for our whole meal and they were delicious. So for the next crock pot dinner idea, I'm going to be sharing some apple barbecue tenderloin. And I would have never, ever thought about adding these ingredients together. Just some apple pie filling and some barbecue sauce. I'm using the craft barbecue sauce, but of course you can use whatever kind of barbecue sauce you like. And I've also got a tenderloin in my crock pot. I'm going to season it up. I'm going to mix the apple pie filling and the barbecue sauce together. And then I'm going to pour those over my tenderloin and cook that on high for about five to six hours. It just depends on the size of your pork loin. But mine cooked for about five and a half hours and it was perfect because you don't want to shred it up or you can if you want to but i was wanting mine to stay you know together i wasn't wanting to shred mine up so that's why i only cooked it for about five and a half hours but of course if you're wanting to shred yours up cook it for a little bit longer and it'll shred up perfectly also my pork loin was half frozen so that could have played a part in the cook time as well so keep that in mind whenever you try this recipe if you try this recipe
cook time was up, I just took my portland out of the crock pot and I put it on my cutting board and I just cut it up into little slices. Then I'm going to take those slices and put those back in the crock pot with the barbecue and apple pie filling and let those kind of simmer in there in those juices while I prepare my sides. And for one side, we're going to make some Brussels sprouts. And I'm just going to pop those in the microwave, you know, and steam those up in the bag. But we're also going to be making some Brussels sprout sauce. And I've seen this on Tiffany from Large Family Love, her channel, many, many times. But I finally went back and found their video where Gary shares kind of like the recipe. He doesn't give exact measurements. So I just kind of winged it and just kind of went by what I thought. But you'll need some mayonnaise. So I'm just dumping some mayonnaise in my bowl. You'll need some malt vinegar. You'll need some sugar and some salt and pepper. So I'm just kind of you know eyeballing it and measuring what i think needs to go in there then i'm just going to stir that up really well and then we'll serve that on top of our brussels sprouts and i'll have tiffany's channel link down below but i'm sure you already know who she is because she's amazing and she cooks um like full days of meals all the time she shares her days every single day she posts a video so i'll definitely have her video or her channel link down below for you to go check out and here you have everything served up together and in the original recipe they said you have to serve some of the apples from the apple pie filling on top of your port lawn so i did that and y'all it was actually really really delicious and then for the next meal we're just going to do some cheesy sausage and potatoes and i think i've shared this before on my channel but it's been a little while but all you'll need to do is just cut up some sausages to go along with your sausage you'll also need a bag of the southern hash browns that you can get at walmart i think it's like a two pound bag right there and you'll also need one can of the cheddar cheese soup you'll just dump in your hash browns and then you'll um, mix in your cheddar cheese soup and then i dumped in my sausages stirred that up really well to make sure they all get good and coated with that cheddar cheese soup and then i just pop my lid on my crock pot and cook that on low for about four hours And then the original recipe I found did not say to do this, but I can remember in the past that I used chicken broth and you know, that just adds some liquid in the bottom of the crock pot, but I was out of chicken broth. So I just used a chicken bouillon cube and kind of like soaked it up into a glass of water until it was all dissolved into the glass of water. And then I poured that over in my crock pot on top of the sausage and potatoes. Then here she was after four hours you do not have to cook her as long as you would cook other things because your sausage is you know basically cooked you just kind of have to heat those up as well as the potatoes and it does not take them long if you cook them any longer than four hours they would be complete mush as mine were becoming mush right here at the four hour mark and then i just served up a can of sweet peas on the side and this was dinner on this night y'all this was a delicious crock pot dinner idea even my husband was like what is that what did you cook that was really good <laughs> but then on the next night we tried one of our favorites in the crock pot and it's crock pot tater tot casserole and i was kind of iffy whenever i decided to do this i was like i cannot mess up my husband's tater tot casserole he will be so mad at me but anyway it turned out pretty good it wasn't as good as a baked tater tot casserole so i probably won't try to cook this in the crock pot again but it is really good and is convenient to have something easy and quick and not have all the hassle of making a tater tot casserole so right here i'm just browning up my ground beef and i have a pound of ground beef right there in my pan and i'm seasoning it up with some seasoning salt some minced onion and some minced garlic 
this my ground beef was through brown it up i did drain off most of the grease i did reserve just a little bit in there because i'm adding in um one third cup of cornstarch and around two cups of milk as well as a splash of worcestershire sauce Oh yes, I also went in with about one third cup of sour cream just to make it look extra creamy. Or you could also use like two cans of cream of mushroom if you would rather. I feel like I would do that maybe next time because that's what our original tater tot casserole recipe has. But this is what the recipe called for that I had. And then you just want to spray your crock pot with some non-stick spray just to make sure that nothing sticks. You'll add in some tater tots into the bottom of your um, crock pot and then you'll top with your meat and cream mixture. So you want to make sure that you add some tater tots to the top of the meat mixture that's just because it's how it needs to be layered and then you'll pop the lid on there and you cook that on low for about five to six hours i will say that cooking this in the crock pot does not make the tater tots crispy and i prefer my tater tots to be crispy they were still kind of like soggy like in there so that's another downfall of cooking the tater tot casserole in a crock pot but when i had about five minutes left i decided i was going to sprinkle on some cheese on top and i'm just using some shredded cheddar cheese then i just kind of kept kept my crock pot on keep warm and i popped my lid back on there like i said for five minutes and all the cheese were melted and ooey and gooey and then this is how it looked once i took the lid off so it was time to serve it up and like i said it has its pros and its con it's easy clean up it still tastes delicious but it was not as good as our baked tater tot casserole that we are normally used to eating all i got for y'all this week i hope y'all enjoyed this week's crock pot what's for dinner video if you did don't forget to leave me a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already because i would really love for you to join my youtube family thank you all so very much for being here today and i will catch you all in the next one bye y'all